Marceline is 11. She's a bright girl with beautiful eyes. But to others in her village, she's an outcast and cursed. She was born with a cleft lip that has left her nose, mouth and teeth disfigured. Most people point and stare and make nasty comments. When we go outside, she covers her face with her hands. Marceline often hides at home. When she does venture out, she's abused and tormented. When I go to someone's house, they tell me, go home, don't come around here. You're making us sick to our stomachs. And they hit me and call me names. So I run away. She's never allowed to eat or drink with other children. They're afraid she'll contaminate them. She lives as an outcast. I feel sad and angry. And I wish we could swap mouths so they could see how it feels. My biggest fear is that she will have an unhappy life. She will never be able to find a husband and get married. Marceline should be in sixth grade, but she's never gone to school. Instead, she helps her mother with chores, wishing for a different life. My dream is to have Mela peeled. When Marceline heard on the radio that Operation Smile was coming to Rwanda, she begged her mom to go. Friends from church lent them the money to make the long trip. When I got the news that we could go, I was so happy, I was shaking. At the hospital, they soon realize that there are many other children who are desperate to have this surgery. They too have been waiting for years. Hundreds have come to be screened, and not all of them can be helped. I pray that my daughter will get her lip fixed. If we are not chosen, we will have sadness our whole lives. This is the day that they find out who will be chosen. 371 children were screened this week, but the Operation Smile team can only do surgery on 248. But others will go home broken-hearted because we don't have the time and resources to take care of everyone on this mission. It's early morning and Marceline's dressed and ready for her surgery. In our child life area, our specialists show her what to expect in surgery. Once in the operating room, she knows exactly what to do. Our surgeons are training Rwandan doctors in the techniques of reconstructive surgery. Today, there are only two surgeons trained to do this operation in a country of 10 million people. Thanks to Operation Smile, there will be many more. The doctor repairs her mouth and skillfully restores and reshapes her nose. Her teeth will naturally go back in place. An hour later, a lifetime of waiting is over. When mom comes in, it takes a moment for her to recognize her daughter. Thank you so much. I don't have any money, so I can't give you anything. Otherwise, I'd give you a big present. Money, a cow, something. Tell her the big present is to see this. If we didn't come to Rwanda and other countries around the world, they would be denied the right to be happy. Uh, it takes 45 minutes to an hour to make a difference in their life forever. And it's a miracle. Marceline is wide awake and can't believe her new smile.
thank you to all the doctors and everyone else who contributed to Operation Smile to make this possible. The best thing is that I have become beautiful. Thank you. God bless you.